In this part, you will learn some Linux command line skills. In the command line interface, you have some command prompt waiting for you to type commands here. So we can type some command like this one, for example. We'll see later what's the meaning of this. And then you get the result of the command here. So briefly, this command just displays um, the content of the current directory. Let's try another command, for example, to change um, the current working directory. For example, cd, change directory. Um, let's go to this directory, for example. So what you see here is usually um, the current directory, where you are currently. Um, and this is the host name, and this is the username. Right. This is another command, it displays the processes. And then I can go back to my home directory. Right. This means the home directory of the current user. We will see what all those comments mean later, um, and we will see much more comments. Um, but for now, what I want you to know is just um, what is the basic format of a comment. So let me just clear the screen using this command, clear. So usually a command has a name. So you have some command name, and then you have um, some options, and then followed by some arguments, right? So let's take an example. Um, you can have a command, let's say, ls, and then this is an option, and then some argument, right? For example, let's say this. So this is the command name, this is an option, and this is an argument. So the options usually change the behavior of the command. Um, and the arguments, um, they are used to provide additional information to the command. For example, here we want to list all the file names and directories within this directory. And we can have comments without any options or arguments. For example, um, if I just type ls without any option or argument, then it will display by default the content of the current directory. So that's an example of a comment without any options and without any arguments. We can also have a command with only arguments. For example, I can have ls, and then I give it this argument, um, so this directory. So I want to display the content of this directory, right? So that's the command name, and this is an argument, and there are no options. And you can also use several arguments. For example, again, ls, I want to display or to list the content of this directory, and then this directory also. So here I have two arguments, right? This one and this one. So you'll get um, the result for this directory and the result for this directory, right? And we can also have a command with only options um, without arguments. So for example, um, let me take this example again with ls, so I can have ls, and then for example I use the option minus l, right? So this will display the content of the current directory, and this option allows it to be displayed in a long listing format. So for each, for each file or directory, you have uh, much more information um, associated with it. And for example, if I do um, Again, ls, and then let me just screen, clear the screen first. So ls minus a, um, this option allows us to display all the content of the current directory, right? Even the hidden files, those files that starts with a dot or directories that start with a dot, they are hidden files or directories. So if you use the minus a option, um, this means all minus a. Um, so they will be displayed also, okay? 
And of course, we can use several options, for example, uh, minus A and also minus L, right? In this case, um, all the files in the current directory, even the hidden ones and, di and also the hidden directories, right? They will be displayed and they will be displayed in a long listing format because we are using also this option minus L. So that's the result. So this is an example of a command with only options, no arguments. And we can also have um, a command with both options and arguments. For example, I can have ls minus a minus l and then an argument. For example, I want to display all the files and directories in a long list and format within this directory, right? So the content of this directory is displayed here, right? In a long list and format, and all the files and directories, even the hidden ones, are, are displayed. And when you have several options, like in here, for example, you can combine them. So for example, I can have minus A, L directly like this, right? So it's exactly the same result as um, as this one. Okay. So what you need to retain from this is that the general format of a command goes like this. So you have the command name here, and then followed by some options, and then followed by some arguments. And we can also have just a command without any options or arguments. Um, and we can have a command with only options or a command with only arguments or with both, like in this example. Um, let's take another example. This is a command called clear. It just clears the screen. So it doesn't take any option or argument like this. It just clears the screen. Um, another example is, for example, hostname. This is a command that just displays the hostname, right? This one. I can use another command, for example, pwd, without any options or arguments, like this. Um, so this stands for print working directory, pwd. It just shows you what is the current working directory, where you are currently. So this is my home directory. And it's exactly the same thing as um, this tilde here, right? So if I display um, the content of this home directory, my home directory, this one, um, is the same thing as this one, right? So this is just a shortcut um, that represents all this, the home directory of the current user. So you get the same result here. Another example is the cd command. It allows you to change the directory change the current working directory, cd. Um, so for example, let's go to another directory. Let's say, let's go to this directory, documents, right? So cd documents. Now my current directory is this one. So my home directory is slash documents, right? Um, for example, I can go to another directory, right? Like this. So this is the current working directory where I am currently. So if you type pwd now, it will display the current working directory, which is this one, right? I go back to my home directory. pwd is now my home directory. So now I'm just showing you some examples, but we will discuss later in details all those comments. Um, Let's take some other examples. For example, we have the common touch, um, and then we specify some file name, for example, abc.txt. This just creates an empty file called abc.txt, right? So this is the common name, and this is an argument, right? So now if I list the content of the current directory, I see that there is a file called abc.txt that has been created, right? And this file is empty, right?
Um, there are many other commands. For example, this command date just displays the, the current date, right? Um, there is a command cal, calendar. So for example, if I want the calendar of, let's say, November 2021, then you get this. So these are arguments for this comment. Okay. Um, let's take another example. So there is a comment that allows you to search for files or directories. Um, for example, the locate comment. So for example, let's say locate and then let's search for all files that have in their names notes.txt, right? So this will allow us to search for all the files that um, whose name contains this notes.txt, right? So in this case, it displays those files. Here we have a file called exactly notes.txt in my home directory, right? Um, there is a file here called notes.txt.tmp, this one here, and this one here. It contains notes.txt, right? So in this case, this is the command name, and this is an argument, and there are no options. Um, if we use an option, for example, we have an option um, that works with a locate command that allows us to count the number um, of results containing in their name notes.txt. In this case, it will display six because there are six files um, that contains this in their name. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. So again, this is the common name, this is an option, and this is an argument. And this command, locate, is able to find any file as long as the user has permissions to access the, the containing directory, right? And it searches a database of file names um, to find those files here. There is, a com there is a command that allows you to update this database. Um, it's called update db, right? So let me show you an example. Um, let's see. If I just create a new recent file, let's say um, a file called um, myideas.txt, for example. And then if you try to search for such a file using locate, um, let's say locate myideas.txt, this file, then it will not be able to find it, right? Because it doesn't exist in, in the database. So locate looks for the file names within a database. And since this file has just, is very recent, it, just, it has just been created, it does not exist in the database, right? So you need to update the database first. And to do this, you can use the command update db, right? So sudo, just to run it as, as a root user. So update db. Okay, now if I search again for the file um, called myideas.txt, it is found. It is telling me that it's inside this directory, right? Okay, so these are, these are some examples of very basic comments, right? So, so for example, here, date, ls, whatever we have, call calendar of, let's say, May 2020. Um, and then there is a comment called history, right? If I type history, this will um, display the history of all comments that I typed previously, right? So the latest comment that I just typed was history. And before that, I used Cal, ls, date, clear, and so on, right? And it is possible to re-execute a command from this history based on its number, right? So for example, if I want to re-execute this command based on its number, right? I just type this. So you have exclamation point and then 
um, the number of this comment, right? So it corresponds to this one here. So if I do this, this comment will be re-executed, right? Same thing. If I do the same thing with this number, um, okay, so this and then this number, then it will re execute this comment, right? Date, and so on. So if you want to display only the last five um, comments from the history, then you can use um, history and then five. So this will display the last five comments that I typed. Yeah. LS minus A. And then if I want to re-execute the latest comment, then I can do, for example, this double exclamation point, right? Exclamation mark. In this case, my last comment was this one, then it will be re-executed, right? Okay. If my last comment was date, for example, then just doing this will re-execute this comment. Okay. So my history is this one. Um, you can also, for example, um, say re-execute the most recent ls comment, right? Um, to do this, you just do again this um, exclamation mark and then just type ls. So this will search for the most recent ls command, and in this case it will be this one, right? And it will be re-executed. So these are just some tricks. Um, you can use them to, to type comments more quickly and so on. But what I want you to retain from all this is just the general format of the comments, right? So you have the common name followed by some options, right? It can be several options, and then followed by um, some optional also arguments, right? Um, for example, slash home graphic documents, let's say, right? And you can have some comments without any options and without any arguments or with options and without arguments or with arguments and without options or with both like in this example okay